What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that are fighting for our freedom. So I guess you guys know by now about the title of what we're, what we're installing today. Uh, this was um, next up on my list but also done by request uh, by one of my uh, subscribers and one of my discord members. Uh, his name is Jay and I just I want to say something to you real quick, Jay. Um, you know, you leave very inspiring comments on my YouTube. And it's hard It's hard to, you know, really talk to each other back and forth in comments. But now that I'm talking to you with my actual voice, I just want to say thank you, man. For, you know, leaving inspiring comments. And, and this is for everybody, too. You know, everybody leaves really great, positive comments to me. And I got a lot of good feedback on my blog today when I told you guys about, you know, the kidney transplant I had to have and all that. But, Jay, I, I just, you know, I want to tell you, man, that you're a good man. And, and I can feel the Spirit of God shine on you through through that channel, man. You know, I, I can just feel it from you. I can feel it talking to you. It's it's pretty amazing. I'd love to meet you, man, and just shake your hand. I I would. Just being honest with you, man. Now, I just want to say thank you for your positive comments and always let me know that you smashed the, that thumbs up. What do you say? Like button smashed. That's what Jay says. That's Jay's thing. Like button smashed. I love it. So thank you, Jay. Thank you, guys, for the comments today on the blog. I appreciate it. Let's get right into this. First of all, let's note that make sure your antivirus is turned off in the midst of this tutorial. Okay, guys? So if you have... For example, Windows Defender, like I do. Then your firewall, which the way you get to it is right here. You'll click this button right here, okay, where it says firewall and network protection. Everything should look like this. Your domain network, your private, and your public network should all say firewall is off, just like that. So but if this page on your, if you have this, the Windows Defender, which is a very good antivirus, let me remind you, if you have Windows Defender and it looks like this right here, you are good to go. You have your antivirus successfully turned off, okay? Now, the, the way you want to turn it back on, if you guys know, I'm sure, if you haven't, I'm sure you probably know, but I'm, you know, I'm a tutorial guy, type of guy, you know that? So I'm going to tell you anyway. If, it, if you don't know how to turn it back on, if, you, if you're doing it separate, like by each one, don't do it like that. Just click this one button right here and it restores them all at once. Everything at once, all right? Let's close out of that. Just want to make a note of that. Today we are installing Ultimate Backup, guys. And the link will be in the description as always. And this is an updated version of Ultimate Backup. I think believe, I believe he just updated this maybe today or yesterday. Uh, it is version 1.7.10. So uh, make sure that you guys go and click on this and download it and get the brand new one, okay? Um, make sure that you got the, the most recent one because when I when I fired up my LSPFR today, it w it went to the game and immediately crashed because there was it told me there was an update available and as soon as I updated it, my game was fine. That's why I tell you guys had the most recent updates of everything. That that doesn't just include your LSPFR stuff, guys. Okay, let me say this real quick before we start the video. This includes your graphics card, any kind of drivers you have on your PC. And especially your Windows updates. Okay? Now, my EUP on my um, on my L LSPDFR was not working about just a few days ago. Uh, maybe a couple days ago. And I deleted my entire LSPDFR because of it and started over. But you know what the problem was? Is I had a Windows update. And I went in. Couldn't. I, my, my Rage. Every time I clicked my Rage, it would just sit there and spin. And nothing would happen. But you know what, guys? As soon as I updated my Windows, it started working. So everything you have in your PC has to be updated in order for LSPFR to work. Okay? So make sure you take note of that. Anytime I play LSPFR or do a video for you guys, I check my Windows uh, updates. I check my drivers. I check my, my uh, antivirus to see if it needs to be updated. And I check my graphics card. I check everything, guys, to make sure it's all updated so that I don't have any trouble with it. Anyway, with that being said, 
Go ahead and click that ultimate backup link in the description below. It's going to bring you to this page right here. This is version 1.7.1.0, guys. All right, and this is by uh, Bajoljo. Uh, this is the guy that actually made these um, these uh, plugins. And I believe there's an, another recent update too on uh, the CompuLite, the computer light uh, um, plugin. I'm sorry, guys, I can't talk today. And Stop the Ped just had a recent update too, so make sure that you're grabbing those. Uh, they're all on this site right here. If you guys want to go to the main site, I'll leave the link in the description below for the actual main page where you guys can go and get those. Uh, so go ahead down here. It's going to tell you uh, right here your version. That was the the version before. Okay, and the version we have now is this version here. So click that blue download button. All right, and remember, do not click this folder. Do not click that folder. Go over here to that, that arrow pointing down and click download. Now, I'm sorry, guys. I just burped. I'm sorry about that. That's so gross. Um, go ahead. You guys know what to do. For those of you watching me for the first time, I'm Criminal Justice, and I do tutorials and LSPFR gameplay and a few other things, a few other uh, types of games. So go ahead, and if you want to save this to your downloads folder, click Save right here. Or, if you want to save it somewhere else, click Save As, like this, and you just simply will pick the folder that you want to save it to. See where I play it. save mine to the LSPFR plugins, because I'm cool like that. Alright, so, see right here is the latest, the, the latest CompuLite, um, the latest CompuLite update, guys. It's 1.4.1.0, so if you guys are using that, there's your latest one. If you guys aren't, and you don't know how to install it or use it, I can do a tutorial for you guys on that. I can sure do it. Uh, anyway, let me go ahead and cancel that out. You guys have probably already downloaded that, and you're like, come on, dude, let's, let's get on with this. So anyway, we are done with that part. Let's close out of that. Close all tabs. Now, is the first thing I want you to do is pat yourself on the back because you just successfully downloaded Ultimate Backup. <laughs> Open up your GTA 5 directory, guys. This is where it's going to take you to right here. All right? And then go ahead and double click that ultimate backup right there. It's gonna bring it up just like this. Guys, this is a very easy install. These these plugins are pretty much all the same the way you install them. You know, I know you guys have seen me install a couple other plugins and call outs. You know, call outs and plugins are pretty much all installed the same. All you really gotta do with them is just drop them into your main directory. That's pretty much it. So we're good. you're gonna um, double click ultimate backup. Now, you can go to the readme text if you want me, if you want to. The readme text tells you how to install. I believe there's an installation instruction in here. Uh, let's see. Installation, installation, right here. So it says copy the contents of plugins forward slash LSPFR in the package to your GTA 5 directory plugins in LSPFR. So all that means, guys, is basically is it's telling you to copy these two contents right here into these folders. You'll go to plugins. LSPDFR, then plugins, LSPDFR. You're going to highlight all those and drop them in. Don't do that. I'm just telling you how you can do it. Okay. I'm going to show you guys the easy way to do it. All right. But you can highlight every single one of these right here and drag them and drop them in. Okay. That's one way of doing it. All right. So go back to this part right here. Now, this is the easy way to do it, guys. The easy way. So scroll down in your main directory a little bit till you see that GTA5.exe pop up. Right there it is. This is your GTA5.exe. I believe that's what that file is. E yes, that's what it is. Okay. So, what you want to do next, what you want to do next is hold down your control key, highlight the rage native UI.dll and the plugins, okay? And you're going to grab it, you're going to bring it down, and you're going to drop it right in here cuz I'm just now installing it with you guys. So let's drop it. Let's drop it in. It's going to ask you to replace the Rage Native UI.dll. If you already have a Rage Native UI, go ahead and replace it. All right. Go ahead and close out of your WinRAR. Get rid of that shortcut. All right. And we're going to pull this over. And we're going to go up. And we're going to go to Plugins, LSPDFR. And you're going to go down to Ultimate Backup. There's a .dll. And an INI. You want the INI file right here, the configuration settings. See it pop up there? Double click that. Okay, now enlarge this window. 
All right, so now, guys, the only thing about this is right here where it says toggle menu key, which is what actually brings up the menu, it will interact with your with your vanilla LSPDFR backup menu because, of course, that's what that's set to, okay? Now, this is what I like to do. I like to highlight this, all right? And I actually always change this to you, to the key you on the keyboard. That way it doesn't interact and I can still use my alt my I can still use my backup on my on my LSPDFR, my vanilla backup, okay? And you know, I think that's pretty much all there is to do in here. Don't hold me to that yet. Um let me um go ahead and highlight that none and then copy it just in case we have to use it. This is button. Now you can set your but your controller buttons to to for to open the menu if you want to. You can Set a certain button configuration if you want to to open the menu. I personally don't put anything like that on my controller, but if you guys want to, you can. Uh, let's scroll on down here because let me tell you something, guys. Ultimate Backup does quite a few things. It does some really, really cool stuff. I really dig Ultimate Backup. And this just tells you about, um, like right here, this, right here where I am, you guys see where I'm at right here? See where I'm highlighted? That's where I'm at. The severity of the group backup. Valid values are code 2 or code 3. So this is just telling you um, when you call for backup, do you want them to show up code three? Do you want them to show up code two? Code two, they're going to come in with, with no, no sirens. Uh, code three, they're going to come in with lights and sirens, okay? So I usually leave it on code three. That way I can hear them coming. That way I know it's, you know, the game's working properly. Um, the same thing down here for felony backup. That's what it is. That, that's your code. I believe that's what it is. The number of backup. Oh, no. This is the number of backup units when player calls for felony stop backup so if you want three units to show up you put in three if you want one you put one etc etc okay guys y'all follow me um this will allow you i'm right here guys i'm right here this will allow you to select the menu using controller during traffic stop while you're inside a vehicle default equals no menu selection during the above situation is not allowed by default because it will cancel the traffic stop you may only change this parameter if you know what you're doing. So you know what? I'm just going to take for uh, granted that I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to leave that alone. And you guys can leave it alone too if you want to. But if you know what you're doing, go ahead and, and uh, mess with it. Uh, go ahead and uh, do what you got to do with that. But that's pretty much it, guys. Just if you want to change, I would change that to the letter U if I was you or just whatever button you want it to be on. Just don't put it on the B. You, you don't want it on the B because if you do that, it's going to clash with the LSPFR vanilla backup um, menu, uh, backup menu, uh, and, and if you ha unless you have it set to another key, I don't know. But if you have them both set to B, they're going to clash, and when when you hit that B, it's going to pull both of them up at the same time on the same side of the screen, and it's going to be very, very confusing. All right, so as always, guys, go ahead and hit that file button and click save, or you can just hit the X like this, and it'll it'll show you this time how it does it. Hit X. And it's like I said, save when prompted. So I'm going to click save. And there we go, guys. That's it on the installation. That's it. Go back to the main page of the directory and click refresh. I always like to refresh it so it puts everything into place. And then you can close out the main directory. And you know I'm going to take you guys in the game and show you all how this works. So I'll see you there. All right, guys and girls. So here we are in the game. And there is, um, I was looking at my uh, notes here because I take notes of everything that I'm going to, you know, sometimes when I do tutorials, I take notes of stuff that I'm going to, you know, that I have to tell you about in the game. And Ultimate Backup is one of these things that I just had to write down because there's there's a few things here. I'm actually looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 different things that we have to go over with Ultimate Backup. No, I'm sorry, 9 things. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 things. Yeah, 9 things. Sorry, I was counting the title on that. <laughs> But there's nine different techniques that we have to go with all the backup. If I think of anything else, or if I forget something, remind me in the comments, and I'll explain to you how it goes. Um, but I haven't gone on duty yet, so I'm going to show you guys how this goes. For those of you that have trouble with this part, when you go on duty like this, you're going to push console key F4, okay? Just like that. Then you're going to type F-O-R. You see it right there where it says force duty? All you have to do to bring it up is hit your tab key just like that, okay? And then you're going to push enter, 
Let's pray that the game does not crash. Press enter. And there it goes. Then just hit escape and get out of that. And I think it's going to ask me to add some buttons. And this is exactly why I recorded this point. Okay. So, Ultimate Backup is adding a new button, Traffic Stop, to onfoot.xml. Would you like to enable it on foot? Okay, guys. Now, what we're going to do is you're just going to start spamming the one. Because all it's going to do is ask you these questions about how you want to add this button that button. Don't leave out any buttons on your Police Smart Radio. Now, this is only if you have Police Smart Radio. If you have Police Smart Radio, this window will pop up. If you do not have Police Smart Radio, this window will not pop up, okay? But if you do, and the window pops up, this is what you do. You're just going to go like this and just keep pushing one. Just like that. Just keep pushing one until it's done doing its thing. And then it's going to take you off duty for a minute. See what it's doing? And then once it's done doing this, and duty again. <laughs> I said duty. Uh, anybody remember them guys Beavis and Buddy they were crazy not a good show for kids alright so go ahead and hit that F4 console key again type in your F O R and hit that tab key and then hit enter once again and sign you right back in put you back on duty and I think that might be it I think that is it, guys, for, for that part. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to grab my controller here. Okay, so ultimate backup. Let me change my outfit, guys. I want to look a little more professional while I'm doing this. So give me just let me get that stuff off the screen. And if y'all get them warnings right there where it says stop the pad warning because it's doing this, doing that, it's going to cause duplication, don't worry about it. Do you see what I'm saying? It does it to me. And my LSPFR runs fine. So, you know, like, it's not a big deal. It's just something that duplicates. I don't know why it does that. It's something with between the police smart radio and the plugin itself. So, all right. So, let me get in something a little more professional here. I've only got two outfits. I love this, this drug task uh, force outfit right here. Um, it's a DOA outfit, but you know, I love going up to the drug dealers. It's just my thing, man. It's just my thing. But I think my guy looks pretty slick. So let's get on with this, guys. I'm going to quit talking. I'm talking way too much. All right. So I'm going to find out where we need to start at. I don't guess it matters where we start. Might need to, uh, is my headlights on? They are on, right? Yeah. We don't really need headlights on in this. I think we're good. All right. So I'm going to pull right over here on this dirt path. On this dirt, Well, it's not a dirt road, but I'm going to pull right in here, and we're going we're gonna to start right here. Now, so what I'm going to do first, guys, is we're going to get a partner for a ride-along. Now, the way Ultimate Backup has always been since I've known about Ultimate Backup is you can convert either one partner or two partners. Now, depending on what backup you call for, okay? So press the key that you picked for ultimate backup, all right? And I'm just gonna call for, and you want to, You it doesn't matter if you call for code two or code three, M can be converted, okay? So you, we're even gonna, I'm even gonna show you how to convert a SWAT team. It's actually really cool, man. It's It's, it's actually really cool. See how my buttons are set the same on my controller? So I'm going to use my, my keys on my keyboard. Anyway, so let's call for a local state patrol role play. Dispatch, one item seven. I need 1199 out here in Vinewood Hills. Backup needed in Vinewood Hills. Oh, those takedowns are nice. Ocean one in room. All right, so there's my, there's my code two backup. He showed up with, with lights, no siren. Right, so let's hop out. You're going to hop out. And he's going to come up here and greet you. How's it going, man? I love this guy. He's so funny. So you're going to stand directly in front of him. See that where it says right there? E or D-pad to dismiss. T or D-pad left to hold. Enter. Press enter to convert to partner. Let's press enter. Okay? He is now our partner. 
All right, buddy, come on, get in the car with me. We're just going to hit. We'll call him. Uh, come on, Jim Bob. We'll call him All right, Jim guys, Bob. So since we have our partner, what I'm going to show you how to do is we're going to pull somebody over, and I'm going to show you a few things your partner can actually do. He looks so chill in there too. Look at him. He's so chill. He just said, okay. So we're going to pull this guy over for this, un this underglow, anyways. Not supposed to have that. Let's ping him. Let's get him pulled over. Not gonna work, Brusky. Not gonna work. Use a little bit of traffic policer here. I'm gonna put him right up there in that grass. I wanna make sure he's up far enough though. Pull right up there, man. Man, you better you better turn in where I told you to. That is not where I told you to go. What are you doing? Okay, yeah, he's going. There he goes. All right, so that's a little traffic police for you guys. So let's go ahead and do some role play. Dispatch in ten twenty eight on a zero eight Paul King Lincoln four seven five. Target license plate. Zero eight Paul King Lincoln four uh -oh, he's seven wanting. five. A warrant issued. This might get ugly real quick, Proceed guys. With okay, now when you get out with your partner here, uh, he's gonna cover the passenger side and you'll cover the driver's side. So check this out. This is really cool. So he's gonna cover that side. Let's go ahead and get a get a gun ready here. I'm gonna get him out by stop the bed. Dispatch, I knew it. Located. Moving to engage. Come on, man. Get in the car with me, dude. Don't don't stay there. Get in the car with me. They got him stopped. Dispatch, is on foot. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Get down. Alright, so well, once I get him cuffed here, I'm going to show you a couple things my partner can actually do. Alright, let's get him cuffed. People are, people are so dumb. Alright, here we go. Now we're going to grab him. And take him over here because uh, your ultimate backup kind of falls into play with your uh, stop the pad sorry guys I know we don't do this during gameplay but I'm gonna have to run him over here real quick and get him out of the road so people can go by where, where can we take him to actually let's take him over here to this side <laughs> run boy run all right go ahead and kneel down right there man and your partner will actually stand here and watch him see that Cause I'm gonna move my car back over this way, but he'll stand there and he'll watch him while you go take care of your business. See, he's got your partner's got your back. Isn't that cool, guys? Let me get my car moving back over this way. Oh, he's trying to get back in the car with me. I thought he'd stay there. He normally stays there. All right, man. I'm only going like you know two foot here, but you're more than welcome to ride. I guess if, if it's that exciting for you. All right, so we're gonna hop back out. Come on, buddy. I'm going to show these people a few things. All right. So, guys, let's get him up. All right. So, let's just say, for example, um, wait a minute. It's not letting me, it's not letting me choose my buddy for a, to do the drug swab test and all that. I don't understand. Did they take that out? They must have took it out, guys. I'm so sorry for that. Used to. Well, I like that feature. I really like that feature. And you guys know on here, of course, you can question the pad and stuff. And or has anything illegal on him. I bet he does. Cause he ran. Any drugs? Any drinking? Any warrants, boy? Can't remember. Bonus dude. See, you used to when you do this, it would give you a choice to either let you do it or your or your buddy. Now I don't know why they took that out. That was a really cool feature. I really enjoyed that feature. Alright, well. Anyway, dispatch the 1016. Backup needed and Vinewood Hills. Alright, let's go on and get to the next part. So now to dismiss your partner, this is what you're gonna do, okay guys? You're gonna stand directly in front of him. And you're going to hit right on the D-pad or E on the keyboard. 
Thank just like that. Okay, he's dismissed. There's that part. Okay, guys, so the next part that we're going to go into here is if it still allows it, I, I apologize that, that they took that feature out, guys, about allowing your buddy to do the breathalyzer test. But that might only work with two partners. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm going to actually see if they still allow uh, converting two partners. So what you're going to do is pull up your menu, and you're going to go, let's see, code three. Yeah, just do code two. And go down to female local patrol. There you go. Now, any other time I've done this, it always sends two female officers in one vehicle. And I think it did, yes, it did the same. So, we're going to convert both of these girls to being our partners in uh, the police field. Alright, so they're going to walk up here. All right, and as always, we're gonna try, I'm gonna try to face her as much as I can here. Hit enter to convert her. There's one. Let's get the other one. What's up, Chicky? I need your turn. And there's two. So we got two partners down. All right, now let's go ahead and get in our car. And they'll both get in the car with you. And they don't fight over seats. Alright, so now we have two female partners. Alright, let's go ahead and get somebody pulled over real quick. This guy looks like a good uh, candidate. <laughs> oh, I think that was meant for the other guy. Man, don't brake check me, dude. There we go, now I got the right guy. I think I actually it actually pinged the guy in the other lane. That was weird. Because I was actually directly behind him. Please do not run. For the sake of Pete, do not run. Oh, there's another violation. He ran a red light. Pull it over, dude. I have a visual. Oh my goodness. He, yep, he's going to run. Required in downtown Vinewood. Dispatch to me 1199. I'll blow them tires out. I mean, they're just doing a circle. That's what's and that's what's annoying me. serious right now get out of that car get out of that car right now get get down I don't know why my partners don't have their guns pointed All I want to do is just like, you know, showcase a mod and, and all this stuff happened. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Okay, come with me. Alright, let's see here. I'm not sure if... Okay, yes, you have to have two partners in order for them to be able to help you with this. So... Let's just say, for example, if I want my one of the partners to batter down, I'm just gonna pick. I'm gonna say, be my be my buddy. I mean, by my buddy. So uh, we'll go ahead and have her pat it down, and one of the girls will walk up and pat her down for you, just like that. Sorry about that long speed chase, guys. Which the you know the editor will probably take care of that. So, all right. So wallet, card, key fob, and packing tape and a flashlight. All right, so, and then you're going to also, of course, you can also do the breathalyzer test the same way, the drug swab. Um, you're going to have your buddy release the handcuffs or, you know, just anything up in this area right here. I don't think they'll grab them, though. Um, 
So if you want to go uh, breathalyzer, just pick be my, uh, by my buddy. I keep wanting to say be my buddy. I don't know why. By my buddy, and there you go, right there. Go ahead, and breathalyzer. Let's see, she gonna breathalyzer real quick. Keep blowing, girl. You're gonna aggravate him, so me. Ah, right, so she's over the legal limit, which is probably why she ran. 0.074%, which ain't too bad, but she's still over. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so I just dismissed the girl, and uh, gonna call 1016. Uh, dispatch, I need 1016 in Mirror Park, please. Backup required in Mirror Park. All right, so that's it for that part, guys. And then, of course, to dismiss him, you walk up to him just like this. And if it'll let me dismiss her, this is so. Yeah, I'm serious. I want you to stand still so I can show the people I dismiss you. Thanks. Right on the D-pad or E on the keyboard, guys. Oh, there you go. Uh, let's see. I think that's it for that part. Let's get out of here. Jeez. Okay, guys. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the convert your SWAT partners I mean, convert SWAT into being your partner. So, you know, I had to dress the part, guys. I had to change clothes real quick. Uh, so let's go ahead and call for the SWAT. So on this one, guys, you're actually going to go over to Code 3. You're going to go down, and you either pick SWAT team or noose. I normally pick the noose team just, just because, um, I don't know. I just do. So I'm going to pick noose. Spash, send me, uh, send me Code 11 on Mission Road. Mission Road. Yeah, so we'll wait on them to get here. And they'll... Then we're going to more than likely pull up in one of these riot trucks, too, so... Yeah, they come right there, actually. I think I should shoot at them and scare them off. <laughs> yeah, let me shoot right there and scare everybody. Y'all get out of here. Get out of here. Get running. Go. Okay, so here comes the SWAT right here. Hopefully they'll all come over here and I don't have to go out. Are they really going to stay in the middle of the road? Well, at least one came over here. Okay, so we're going to convert him same way. You just got to gotta face him directly. Alright. So, there's one. Now, with the riot truck, let's go ahead and get, put, get him in the riot truck with me. Come on, man. Y'all probably to hop on the side of the back. He's going to hop on the side. Now, the way it was before, you can only convert two of those guys on this truck. And I don't know why you should be able to convert th at least three because there's two seats in the back. So I'm going to try to convert three. If it don't work, I'll dismiss one of them. We're going to hop out right here. I'm going to turn my lights on so traffic is aware. All right, so let's go up here and convert this fellow right here. No way. There's two. Hey. And there's three. All right, now if all of them don't fit in there, if they won't all get in, I'll, I'll dismiss one. Come on, guys, let's go. But it looks like they're all going to want to get in. Okay, so now you can convert three. Awesome, that is great. That is great. So you can actually... Let me fix something real quick, guys. Sorry about that. There we go. Much better. Okay. So I now have um, three other partners with me, which makes a team of four SWAT. So if you, want to, if you want to put together a SWAT team and say go do some bank heists and stuff, that's how you do it right there. And they'll get out, and they'll follow you, and if you fire, they'll fire. If somebody fires at you, believe me, they're, those guys, these guys right here have got your back 100%. I kid you not. They've got your back. So we're just going to stop a random pad here real quick uh, just to see if maybe anything goes down. Actually, you know what? What is that with people's tires popping on here all the time? I don't understand why they do that. I just ride something beside somebody, and all of a sudden their tires will just pop. You know what, guys? We're gonna we're gonna go down to Grove Street. No, we're not. That that I'll get them killed down there. <laughs> they end up getting killed down there. Uh, let's try to find a pad here. 
Okay, so I targeted them as... Let's go, guys. Come on. Attention all units. Assistance required in Pillbox Hill. They're all going to jump in with me. Units respond, code 3. Did you get in, buddy? You gonna you gonna shut your door or what? I right, so we're gonna go out to that bus. There, you got it. Dispatch, suspect is on foot. I'm just gonna keep it on code two. All right, so dude's running. Actually, he got out willingly. Screw you. Get on the ground, man. Get on the ground. I right, so see they'll be right here to get you back. Cocksucker. So he's got him a gunpoint right there. My partner's got him a gunpoint. One of them does. What's the other one doing? Are they all here? Okay, they're all here to, to have your back. So they got... He ain't got a gun. Jesus. But they're right there with you, man. See? Dispatch, send me 1016. Assistance needed for a suspect placed under arrest. And... Holy cow, they were flying. Copy, that's a code two on our way. Roger. And they'll stand right here and, and guard the guy until he's, uh... Uh, I should, probably shouldn't have grabbed him. He's gonna get him anyway. <laughs> wow, these people have filthy mouths. Anyway, guys, there's your there's your SWAT team for you. And as I said, when you dismiss them, you just walk up and Thank you. press around the D-pad or E on the keyboard. You just make sure you're facing them. If you're not facing them directly, it won't do it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that's it, man. All right, so we got a few more things here we're going to go over, guys, so just, just stick with me. Like, you know, you guys know my tutorials are very detailed, and they're kind of lengthy sometimes. Just stick with me. I'm going to show you how everything works. Okay, guys, so on this part, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to call for a canine and what the canine actually does. Uh, so let's, y'all know I like my vanilla cars. We're actually using the vanilla car this time for this one. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's see. Go ahead and grab that car right there. I want to get somebody that's already in motion and moving. Alright. Let's light him up. Or her. Sound like a her. Come on, pull it over. Alright, and role play. Dispatch in at 1020 on a 43 Robert Zebra X ray 727. Target license plate 43 Robert Zebra X ray 727, no 1099. Alright, let's go ahead and get out and approach the suspect. Make sure we got a taser ready here. Hey there, how's it going? I'm Officer Justice with the Los Santos Police Department. The reason I pulled you over because you're swerving back there a little bit and speeding a little bit too fast. You doing alright tonight? You got some ID on you? Could you please show me your ID? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just, just uh, we're going to go ahead and get her out. Okay, so now I'm going to call for a canine unit. I'm going to have her, have her go, just go ahead and kneel down for me right there. No down, what's your problem? You got you having muscle spasms? You you good? You need an ambulance? Dude, lay down. For real. <laughs> like seriously, lay down. Mind your business. Go on. I was mean guys. That was that was like dirty cop stuff. All right, so I'm gonna close the door, and uh, this guy over here apparently is under the. He's under the uh, stop the pet thing too, I think. But I'm gonna let him go. You can go ahead and get on out of here, man. You're not even worth it. And I already know he's got narcotics. You know, get, get out of here. Go on. You got your chance to leave before I arrest you, man. That's what I thought. You don't want none of this. Keep on walking, old man. In the back of your pants looks like you messed yourself. All right, so let's get a canine out here. All right, so you're going to hit the ultimate backup key. Go over to code three. I think, is it code three? No, code two. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. 
Let's see. Code two. Did they take that? Are you serious? Did they take that out? Don't tell me they took out K9. Please don't tell me they done that. Oh my goodness, they took out K9. Unless you had to be on a felony stop for that, but I don't think so. You know what? I'll call K9 like this. We will do it if I can do it like this. Let's see. Mm. I don't think it's going to let me do it, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm really trying to really show you guys how this works. It's not going to let me call for K9 on this vehicle. This is very upsetting. But at least you guys do know the basic of how Ultimate Backup works. Um, so then you have, you know, you have your felony stops, you have your code three stops, your code, I mean your code, sorry, your code two backup, your code three backup, you have a, you have your felony stops, then you have your regular traffic stops. Um, let me remind you guys again, I think I might have already told you this, let me remind you again, that if you do have a partner and someone gets shot and killed in the process, your partner a lot of times will sit there with that with that dead body okay now the only way to get your partner to leave and leave again with you is to call the coroner and have them come out there and take the pictures do their job and then your partner once they bag up the, the victim the, I mean the, the dead suspect then your partner will leave with you but that's the only way to get him to leave with you in other words and, and but you know for like for example I just got laying out here and just say I'm the partner the partner would just stand here like this and you're over there in the car ready to go and he's not going to go nowhere until you call the corner out here, I'm telling you. So, anyway, guys, that's it on Ultimate Backup, pretty much. I mean, it's pretty basic stuff. Um, but I did the tutorial because, you know, it was something that needed to be done. I don't think anybody else has done uh, tutorials on single plugins and stuff like I have. And so I'm glad to bring those y'all's way. And I did it by request for, um, it was actually a request by Jay. And it's for all you fine young ladies and gentlemen to enjoy it. And you guys get to hear my voice and, and listen to me talk and bore you to death, you know, with all this stuff. So, guys, I appreciate the love and support. I am up to 400 and I think 70, 72 subscribers. Maybe uh, 476. Somewhere in the 470 area right now. So, I'm getting so close to my next milestone, the 500 sub, guys. I'm getting so close. So, guys, let's keep pushing this channel. Let's keep doing what we do and keep those likes coming and those views, guys. I love y'all so much. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.